Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Brooklyn. I do videos every week on thrifting, thrift flips, DIYs, and this week we are deep into Halloween preparations. I have already started decorating my kitchen. I am working on some projects for the living room and the rest of the house. This one is very, very spooky. I have been on the hunt for some porcelain doll heads, but on eBay, they're really expensive. So I checked out my local thrift store. I found a bunch of porcelain dolls for $2.99. And what I have been doing is cutting everything apart and then using a little bit of rubbing alcohol to get all of the glue off. And when we are done, we will be left with all kinds of porcelain doll parts to decorate with. Some of these I'm just going to decorate, like leave them on the shelf. I kind of want to do like a jar of a couple heads. You know, no big deal, jar of heads. I want to turn some of these into planters because I have so many plants in the apartment and I really want to incorporate that into the Halloween decor so everything is a little bit more cohesive and blends. I have been popping out the eyes as well. I think that just gives it a very, very spooky look. See how creepy she is with the moss? I just stuffed some moss in there for now to see what it would look like. Okay, so all you are going to need is a porcelain doll, some fabric scissors, a jar, some rubbing alcohol or acetone also works, and an old rag. Okay, so here we go. I've been saving the clothes and I'll just re-donate them to the thrift store. So we'll just take her clothes off. I'm gonna rip her hair off. All of the porcelain dolls have this kind of like, I don't know, they put like a, a foam top on there. I thought I was going to have to cut a hole in the top to put a plant in, but I don't, which is so, so great. This is where you'll take your fabric scissors. And there you go, there's the head. This one, it looks like she's got a zip tie around, so I'll have to pull the fabric out and then snip that zip tie. But thankfully there's no glue, so I'll just get some clippers, clip that zip tie. I'm going to just fill a little vessel with some rubbing alcohol and stick her in upside down, and that's going to dissolve some of the glue and give me a head start so I don't have to like scrub so hard. Let's get the rest of these pieces off. There is a wire in here so that her arms are flexible. Um, so be careful not to hit that wire when you are cutting the arm to get this porcelain part off. Some of them are just wrapped with a little bit of string. So that's super easy and that's all done. Let's see how this head is coming along. After it's soaked for a little bit, just take an old cloth and kind of rub off what you can. You'll just kind of like repeat this process a few times until you get all of the goo off. There is fabric that's glued to the inside and that's what's holding the eyes in. Sometimes there's just big glops of glue and that takes a lot longer to dissolve. But in either case is what I've been doing. I've been just pouring a little bit into the head and then putting her, you know, face down so that it can just soak through whatever kind of adhesive is holding the eyes in. You can leave the eyes if you want, but I think that just looks so much spookier with the eyes popped out. I've also removed the eyebrows. You can also like paint the eyes black. You can age it a little bit. I have to live here with them for the next couple months, so I don't want them to actually be like super, super scary. Okay, I'm gonna start the other doll while that is soaking.
that not look so spooky, but yet so classy? Thank you guys so much for doing this with me. This was so much fun. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you wanna know when my next video is coming out. You can ring that bell down there. Let me know what you thought of this. If you end up trying this yourself, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comment box below. And until next time, stay spooky, and I'll see you in the next video.